Along with the extreme program, we have a double XP weekend, and I highly suggest you take advantage of this and get as much double XP as you possibly can. Because remember, if you guys max out the season three XP reward path, you have a chance to spin for this chase pack five and a chance at Ellie De La Cruz. And even if you're not pulling Ellie De La Cruz, you're at least getting diamonds and making stubs. So in this video, I wanted to bring you guys two different XP methods and you can choose which one you want to do. And both of these are really, really good for grinding XP, um, a lot of XP really fast. Um, so highly suggest these two. And if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. But let's go ahead and jump right in to the first method I'm going to be talking about in this video. And that is through mini seasons. I actually talked about this a little bit on one of my last videos. Um, I think it was last week. And uh, so there's one goal in here that we need to keep in mind while we're doing this, right? Um, and it is the Team Affinity Season 3 mini season, by the way. Um, and in here, in the goal I'm looking at right here is in a single season, tally 45 total bases. This is repeatable, and you can do this once per season. And by doing this, you get 2,000 XP and a Ballin' is a Habit pack. So keep in mind the gameplay XP you're getting will be double because of double XP and then you will be earning this quickly and you'll be earning a lot of it and I'll tell you guys why in just a second and then on top of that you will get the 2000 XP bonus so super nice there and the pack the packs just thrown in there but what you want to do is be the home team right here and then you want to play on the easiest difficulty difficulty does not matter so whatever you're most comfortable on um, and then what you want to do is because you're the home team you can pick your created stadium so um you know, on new gen people, pick your uh, custom stadium right here and, you know, max elevation, short walls. I play on blank canvas right here. Um, so this is what I'll choose um, and then I'll go into the game. So literally your only objective this game is to get 45 total bases. So while you're in the game, make sure you keep track of how many total bases you're at because if you hit 45 total bases in the first game, like midway through or whatever, then you'll have completed it already and you can literally quit out and you'll have the goal completed and you can then uh, go basically restart the mini season and repeat the process. Um, if it takes you more than one game and let's say you get it in the middle of your second game, go ahead and quit out and you will get the progress there. Um, and then yeah, hold an X to and then hit yes for restarting the season. And then it is a repeatable goal. So then you, once you do that, you can go back in to a fresh mini season, go back to the goals, and then it'll be there again to complete. And you can just keep doing this over and over and over and over again. Um, and yeah, like I said, I mean, the 2000 XP right here, plus all of the gameplay XP, and you probably will be able to do this maybe like four times an hour or something like that. So you can do the math there, pretty good stuff. Plus you get a pack, and I know Ballin as a habit packs aren't amazing necessarily, but if you get four of them an hour, it's gonna stack up really quickly. And so you're getting a ton of stubs on top of all of the um, XP and double XP that you're getting from this method right here. Now we move on to method number two, and if you're sick of the extreme program or of Diamond Dynasty, I highly suggest this one. This is a really good, just mindless XP grind. Um, you can get so much XP literally just from clicking like a button or two. So um, highly suggest following along right here. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, if you haven't basically downloaded a custom stadium, search for one. Um, you can use some of the ones I've used right there um, and then download that so you can use that in this grind. And then what you're also going to want to do is come over here to roster and then what, and then search, um, you know, maybe search for like road to the show or something like that, because this is a road to the show method right here. And then maybe sort either either by ratings or download. I don't know. Um, you can try ratings and, and both ratings and downloads, something like that, um, and just see what comes up. And so basically what you want to do here is what you're looking for is you can download a roster where you're on a team with like normal overall players and then all the other teams are zero overall players, right? So um, this is just makes the, like this basically just gets you more XP over time essentially. And I haven't downloaded one of these rosters since the first week of the game. So if someone in the comments can go ahead and comment the one that's best that they've used recently uh, for this grind, go ahead and do that so you can help out, you know, everyone else watching the video. That would be super helpful and I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, but basically what you want to do is start a fresh new uh, one right here. And then if you do that, what you want to do is pick the you know, you're gonna have that custom roster, right? So pick that custom roster that you had and then choose the team um, 
that basically that roster is built for so like it'll say usually in the title of the roster like reds or something and then that means you want to choose the reds uh, because that will have the normal overall players while all the other teams are zero overall but you kind of get that so you also want to be a starting pitcher when you either a starting pitcher or two-way player but essentially you just want to be pitching okay so choose one of those two um either starting pitcher or two-way player and then you can come on here choose your skill set whichever basically like program you want to be working on and then you click on see tasks and that'll uh, move you move on over to the program and the progress that you're working so I'm in the middle of a silver one right here um, so there are bronze silver gold and diamond tiers of these programs so essentially like you see right here the XP goals right here are 750 750 750 that's what it is for silver programs and then a thousand at the end but if you move on up to like gold or diamond you're gonna be getting like two three times as much xp uh for each of these goals you know once you get to the gold or diamond um programs right here so that's super important to know and then you're also going to be making a ton of xp obviously in game and that in game xp will obviously for this weekend be doubled as well so then jump on into a game and there's a few things that you want to do once you get into that game which i'll go over right now so basically the first thing you want to do when you get into a game is go on over to settings and pitching difficulty choose the lowest one because then you're going to be striking more uh, people out uh, in other words getting more xp higher the difficulty less strikeouts um, means you're probably not making as much xp um, and then the pitching interface always turn that on classic um, be, I'll show you guys just in a second why um, but and then I think that's pretty much it right there so you can go ahead and apply the changes there and now we're heading back out to the game I chose classic because literally all you need to do is click your pitch one button as they almost go yard off me on first pitch um, pick pick your pitch click one button and then to pitch that right you only click that one button so you're clicking two buttons is literally all you need to do so when I said mindless grind that's exactly what this is so you need to click two buttons and you're you know you're grinding XP so you can literally be doing stuff while you're doing this um, and gaining a ton of XP gaining a lot of stubs right and you know getting other stuff done or watching you know a show of some kind and just mindlessly doing this so that's all I'm going to show you guys but you kind of so you basically do that for the entire game or when they take you out um, and then you restart the new game and do that on over again so and as you guys can see I got 112 XP for literally striking one guy out so that just shows you how much you know a double XP uh, weekend is going to get you when you're doing this method so super good stuff right there and then keep in mind you will be gaining the extra xp bonuses along the way um, as you work through that program right so um, once you hit each goal you're going to be hitting that xp goal right there and for um, once you get through bronze once you get through the silver program you're going to be getting up to you know gold and diamond and those xp goals are really really high so that's super important keep you know grinding through these programs work your way on up to diamond Plus, once you get up to Diamond, you will be earning Diamond Equipment through the program, Diamond Perks. So you can make a ton of stubs from this method as well if you want stubs and XP. Both of them, you're going to be getting plenty of those. So I hope you guys found at least one of these methods helpful. Um, and, you know, you can use this on this double XP weekend or, you know, it doesn't have to be a double XP weekend really any time. But especially on these double XP weekends is when I suggest doing these methods. Um, you know, you want to max out this program, like I said in the very beginning, because you're going to be getting, you know, all of these cards, all of these stubs. But then also that chance for the chase pack five is super nice as well. So. Otherwise, that's going to do it for the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment those down below. I appreciate all of you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.